to Time to Go. Bob here, and today I have a really cool watch for the space guys out there. There's a lot of neat watches with connection to space exploration. Obviously, the most famous being the Omega Speedmaster Moon Watch. We have the Bull of a Lunar Pilot, which I've featured on the channel, even the Seiko Pogue. There is one watch with a connection to space exploration that went under the radar for me until last year, and that is the Gagarin Stramansky, the first watch ever in space. This is actually a reissue of the watch. So let's spin the camera around and take a closer look. So one interesting thing about the Gagarin watch versus some of the other space watches out there, this was actually his own personal watch. It was gifted to him for graduating his military flight school where watches like the Speedmaster were tested before being issued to the astronauts. The flight was only a short one at 108 minutes with one trip around the Earth. And one kind of last fun fact that I wasn't aware of is the fact that the Vostok, which is the name of the craft he piloted to space, wasn't capable of landing with a human on board. So Gagarin ejected from the capsule at around four miles from the ground. It's pretty crazy to think about what went through his 27-year-old head back in 1961. Now onto the watch. There's a couple of pretty big differences between this and the original. First of all, the materials. The original watch case was made of, I believe, chrome-plated brass versus this reissue being made of titanium, making it a very lightweight watch. The next big difference is the case size. The original was much smaller at 33 millimeters, this being a little over 40 millimeters with a lug to lug of 47 and a half. The thickness is 12 millimeters with I'd say at least two millimeters of that being this beautifully domed mineral crystal. And the lug opening we have here is 20 millimeters with a water resistance of 50 meters. The watch houses the Pulley Yacht 2609 17 Joule Movement, has a 42 hour power reserve. For me, it gains anywhere from 12 to 15 seconds a day. It's hand winding, has a really nice action. The thinner crown here is just very easy to grip and turn. Now, they say this is the same movement as the original, but from what I've read, there's debate over whether or not the original was a 15 or a 17 joule movement. The one thing I'll say for sure is it's a pretty loud one. If I put this on my nightstand, you can really hear it. I actually find it pretty relaxing. The dial is one part of the watch that stays fairly true to the original. You can actually get this in three colors. There's black, silver, and this cream color. The original was white, but likely faded to a creamy color over time, like a lot of vintage white dialed watches do. So this version is the closest of the three to the original. Up top, if I'm not mistaken, Stramansky is written here in Cyrillic. I believe the emblem, emblem below is for the first Moscow watch factory. And please correct me if I'm wrong. There's a lot of mixed information on this watch out there. At the bottom of the dial is the Stramansky logo with the winged bomb and the red Soviet star. If you actually look at their manual here, you can see how the logo has evolved over the years. The hour and minute hands are, I believe, blued and not just painted blue, which I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick up on. We have the red second hand. I just love how it reaches out to the very edge of that dial. The dial, by the way, I'm not sure if it's the distortion from the domed crystal. I don't believe so. It appears to be convex, and the minute and second hand are actually bent to match the lines of the dial at their tip. The font they've chosen for the numerals here is really cool, and they, along with the hands, are loom. So let's hit the lights and take a look at that. So I was actually pretty surprised by the loom here. We have some really nice loom. The hour markers aren't quite as heavily applied as the hands and fade a little faster, but overall it's really solid. Would have been nice to see the second hand loomed as well, but with how long it is, you can see it make it sweep across those hour markers. I don't know guys, I was totally shocked by the loom here and very impressed. The case has a pretty simple design, very nice curve to those lugs. Again, this is titanium, so it's very lightweight. 
My favorite part of the entire watch though is actually the case back. Check out the embossed face of Gagarin. It's just so well done. Almost looks like a collector's coin. I haven't mentioned it yet in this video, but this is actually a limited edition of only 999 pieces with this being number 874. The last thing I want to talk about and probably the biggest negative here is the strap. It goes great with the watch and it feels fine on wrist, but you can see here the embossed leather is breaking down quite quickly. I've been actually wearing this on a different strap. I might have worn it three or four times on this one. It just seems like it's not going to last very long. I mean, it's a quick fix with a uh, new strap, but just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys. So let's pop it on here. So on wrist, it's really quite a comfortable watch. The combination of the lightweight titanium and how the lugs curve makes this just melt into the wrist. I love a watch with a story, and although this is a commemorative watch with quite a few changes to the original, there's still that connection. And you know what? Taking the story and connection to space exploration out of the picture, it's still a well-built functional watch with that bit of vintage flair that's nice to have in the collection. So that's it, guys. Let's wrap this one up. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed our look at the Stramansky super cool watch. I just have to give a bit of a shout out to another YouTuber that helped with this video. He has a channel called Fit Outpost. He's done a couple of videos where he helps you to pronounce properly different Russian watchmakers as well as movement parts, that sort of thing. He also has other watch related content. Make sure you go check him out. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.